today in Nerd History. Hello, hello, February 3rd enthusiasts. It's time to take our daily stroll down memory lane. Buckle up for a wild ride through some amazing moments in pop culture. Let's start with a dash of nostalgia back in 1982. Ms. Pac-Man waka waka walked her way into arcades. That's right, Pac-Man's better half took the joystick, bringing new mazes, cheeky ghosts, and bonus fruits to the classic maze chase. Talk about girl power in the arcade world. Flash forward to 2006 and get ready to laugh with the IT crowd on Channel 4. This British sitcom isn't just about tech support, it's a hilarious journey through the lives of three quirky IT workers and the hilarious clueless bosses. It's the perfect blend of geeky and goofy, making even the bluest screen of death seem funny. In 2012, Chronicle soared into theaters. Imagine being a high school student and suddenly, bam, you've got telekinetic powers. Sounds cool, right? But as these three students find out, great power comes with great drama. It's a tale of friendship, morality, and flying teens, a cinematic smoothie of awesomeness. Jumping to 2022, Netflix brought us Murderville. Picture this, Will Arnett as a detective, but with a twist. Each episode features a celebrity guest star who's totally clueless and has to improvise their way through solving the murders. It's like a comedy whodunit with a side of improv. And in 2023, Knock at the Cabin knocked on theater. Theater doors. Directed by the twist master M. Night Shyamalan, this psychological horror flick is all about a family's chilling choice when strangers claim they're saving the world. Based on Paul Trimbley's novel, it's a nail-biting, edge-of-your-seat kind of movie. Craving more juicy tidbits from the nerdy universe? Head over to lovethynerd.com slash nerdhistory for your daily fix. And don't miss out on our deep dive into the nerd history of Facebook this week at lovethynerd.com slash nerdhistorypod. It's going to be a geeky, fact-filled journey, so tune in and join the fun.